Hey, this is Kim with Kim Does Stuff, and I'm super excited about what we're about to do tonight. Um, we're gonna do spaghetti sandwiches, but with like leftover spaghetti, guys. Fucking, oh my god, if you're like me, you let most of your leftovers go to waste. Not on purpose, like you make the food, and then all of a sudden, shit just. I don't know, three months later when you clean out the fridge, you don't even fucking know what it is anymore. And then you're throwing away that container you have it in. And I'm actually losing a lot of money in fucking containers over here. So, anyways, here's what you need to do leftover spaghetti sandwiches. You can have these crescent rolls. This is just um, the generic because, you know, pay full price. Why the fuck would you do that? Generic crescent rolls, your leftover spaghetti, I got over here, right here, and this, oof, look how much I got left, see, I'm not even going to use a portion of that, really, it's just like tiny, um, a little bit of cheddar, a little bit of mozzarella, some fucking butter, well, margarine, and some fucking garlic powder, and of course, that stick spray, so that's all you need to do with that, so, um, Gonna go ahead and get sturdy. We're gonna open our crescent rolls. I really hate doing this. I feel like I'm gonna die every time I have to do this. So I'm sorry. Jesus fuck. I wish it would just fucking. Okay, there it is. Yep, it's open. Um. Yeah. All right. So. All right, when you unroll your crescent dough, it's a little bit different than like pizza dough or something. I can't even motherfucking find the beginning of this shit. It's like, where is the beginning or the end here? Who knows? Um, you find the fucking beginning at some point. Crescent dough is a little bit different than the other doughs you're gonna be using like pizza dough or something because it's already kind of portioned off. I'm cutting this shit. I don't even know where the beginning is. It, I don't care. Um, but, like, pizza dough just unrolls. Maybe it's because it's the generic. I don't know. Buy the, buy the good stuff and see what fucking happens. I don't fucking know. I'm not paying more. I'll just cut it and make it work for me because... Bitch, that's what you're gonna do. You won't work. Um, sort of. <laughs> Maybe. Um, so, unroll your shit onto. I have a little cutting board going on over here. My shit cutting board. Uh, but unroll it as best you can. My shit is seriously not unrolling. See, hold on. Let me move this out of your way for one second just so you can see. You guys, I feel like you should see the fuck up that is happening at this point. You know what? This doesn't want to unroll. That's okay with me. I'm fine with it. It, it doesn't have to be perfect because you're cooking on a fucking waffle iron. Like seriously? Are you looking for perfection? Just pinch that shit back together. Who cares? Um, so... I'm unrolling this shit as best I can, which is, like, I'm pretty sure any one of my children could do this shit better than I'm doing it right now. Um, and they're, well, some of them are older, but most of them are, and they could probably still get it better, but that's okay. All right, when you unroll your crescent roll do you will probably do it better than I just did it kind of comes out into where it would work into four pretty decent ones so we're just going to go with four if you have more than four people that you're trying to feed you may need two tubes um, so you need to be the judge of that so all right, crescent roll is already kind of buttery, but we're going to add just a tiny bit of the margarine. 
and the reason is because it makes the garlic powder stick so fucking well. It's gonna be so fucking good. Trust me. My husband and I already ate this. It was the best fucking drunk food ever. And I bet you would even like it sober. Alright, going up. So here. So I put a little bit of margarine all over the whole thing. Now you're just going to sprinkle a bit of garlic powder. You know how much you like garlic, so if you don't really like garlic, you might want to skip this step. If you really like garlic, put it on there. I'm just sprinkling it on like I would put salt on something. So um, now for the spaghetti. Alright, this is leftover spaghetti. You make your spaghetti however the fuck you like to make your spaghetti. I don't know how meatballs would go in this fucking recipe. Probably not that good just because they're pretty big. Um, mine is just a basic spaghetti with some fucking ground beef that I fried up before and put in the sauce. So like a basic meat sauce. Um, I'm clearly not Italian over here so I don't do it that great. Um, so just make your spaghetti. If you can't make spaghetti, you probably shouldn't be near a heated waffle iron anyway. So I don't think I should need to give you directions for that. It's cold, it's leftover. Um, so I like to make it just a tiny bit smaller before I put it on there. And you see how I'm cutting it? Just go both ways with it. Or you can, you can do it. You know, long ways, I just feel like I can fit a little bit more on each piece. So just, hold on, let me move this so you can see what I'm doing. So just put some on there. I mean, it's just really, however much you think you can fit or you can fold your damn crescent roll over, okay? Just remember, we still got cheese coming, so. All right, so I got some spaghetti on there. I'm telling you, this is fucking amazing. You're gonna love it. I want like a lot of spaghetti on here because just even doing it makes me hungry. So you're doing it in four portions. Um, and that's all the spaghetti I'm going to do, um, which was like nothing out of my leftovers. I'm still probably going to have a really gross bowl to deal with at some point because that's what happens. So now I'm going to add some cheese. I got my mozzarella in. Uh, push that in there. Telling you, so good, so so good. Um, if you like Parmesan, uh, like you know, fresh is cool, but if you're cooking on a waffle iron like me, you're probably not using the fresh. Um, if you like that sprinkle kind, sprinkle it on there, man. I just don't like it. You know, put your cheddar on there. Um, you know, just just put whatever the fuck you like on there. It's, it's your sandwich. I don't know what you like. I'm just telling you what I like. All right. So there. There's my cheeses. I'm going to get those out of the way. And see. I got my cutting board. I got my mess over here. I'm cleaning that tomorrow. All right, I'm going to make sure that my lines are good. You, I mean, it really is already cut. It's just getting kind of warm waiting for me to finish here. Um, stretch it out and fold it over. It does not have to be perfect, man. Don't, don't worry about that. If you're worried about perfection, you're probably not cooking on a waffle iron. Like I always say, like, shit, you ain't fucking... Julia Child or somebody over here. You can cook it on a lot of So, here we go. See, just, just 
fold over the bigger edge because you only put it on there the half the front half there if you have gaps just pinch them together pinch your loaf there all right and then here it's just because the only reason you get gaps is because of how um, they do the crescent rolls so that's not like a huge deal so you have your preheated waffle iron always gonna put your nonstick spray on there if you don't do that shit then whatever happens is on you I take no fucking responsibility for people that don't listen to my directions and a little open space here. I just had a little extra dough, so I just fill that in. All right, take your pieces, place them on there. They spread out a lot, even if they don't look that big. Trust me, it ends up being a really healthy portion of food. Put your pieces on there. Close your waffle iron down and lock it if you have a lock. If you don't have a lock, uh, I don't really know what you do with that because I have a lock. So lock it if you have one because shit's about to start spreading. Um, while this is cooking, I'm going to tell you a couple of the recipes I do make a pretty big mess in your wealth layer so something really fucking important like for cleaning it usually you can just do a quick wipe down or whatever but if you cook something i make you may have like a big ass cheese mess or something i use i'll show you i just have this little toothbrush it's delegated just to my waffle iron and i will actually take it and gently brush it won't fuck up the surface of your waffle iron but it will clean out the grooves really well so you can get all that baked on grease if you use your fucking nonstick spray like I tell you to do you will have no problems you just use your little toothbrush and you can get right in there you can get one at the dollar store or something it's not like a big expense and it's totally fucking worth it because you're not scratching up your fucking waffle, waffle iron there so just a little where to the waist. This usually takes about three minutes or so. Um, you're just waiting on the bread. Let me grab a plate and I always have to grab a fucking plate. But um, and then look, I got such a huge mess over here. Um, everything's messy when you're cooking. Who cares? You know, it's worth it because the shit is amazing and you're gonna fucking love it I'm telling you I love to eat my leftover spaghetti on a sandwich um, before I started the waffle iron cooking I didn't even know how good that sandwich could actually be this shit is probably the best spaghetti sandwich you will ever eat so you know you're just about done I think we're what one two minutes in. I didn't have enough time to tell you too much stupid shit. Yeah, I mean it's totally perfect. And even though my spaghetti was cold right out of the fridge, still it's piping hot when you bring it out of this. So look at that. really hot though so watch your fingers but here that's what the spaghetti sandwiches look like when they're done I mean I know it looks like a waffle just like everything else I make but I'm telling you this shit is the bomb so um, if you like what I'm cooking please uh, like my video subscribe to my channel uh, share share all around and, you know, that's it. So I'll see you next time.